So now we are going to see the questions of gas carriers. Uh, like we can see here, uh, write, write uh, short notes on SIGTO. So SIGTO is uh, Organization Society of International Gas Tanker and Terminal Operations. So all the gas tanker owners and gas terminal owners, they have formed an association for the safety of uh, gas industry. And uh, uh, They see all the hazardous operations of uh, gas tankers and uh, best practices they list and they do all the research, any accident is taking place or how to keep the maximum safety. And because of their good work till now, very less incidents are taking place on gas carriers. And gas is said to be also quite safe. And uh, they are, uh, classified as per IMO also and they do all the time information exchange technical information and experiences between the industries and they give out all the circulars then we have pre-arrival checklist we have discussed so we'll see again so water for emergency ready gas recondition alarms gauging system emergency shutdown cargo operation remote valves transfer emergency stops tank high level and pressure alarms remotely operated manifold valves open cycle closed cycle functioning and advice valve type ball valves or gate valves and deep well cargo pumps and general checks when will you stop the cargo and all then ICS data sheet you have to write short note ICS data sheets are same MSDS sheets ICS for gas carriers so it gives the properties of the cargo and emergency uh, actions everyone sh should be it should be available for the cargo is loaded especially then the next is uh, loading procedure of semi-refrigerated LPG tanker as per IGC code and ISM code. So loading procedure we have already discussed and short notes on semi-refrigerated ships. So loading procedure we do, we were gassing up, cooling down and then loading. So general preparation that vapor return line we have to set the pipelines the pumps gassing up has to be done up to 80 to 95 percent so first we will uh, lower the tank temperature by cooling down then sounding, monitoring, pressure monitoring, alarms check. Then the cargo related documents on chemical tankers. There are so many documents, but mainly we have covered that. Then uh, short notes on deep well pumps. So pumps, you can write the centrifugal pump. You can draw a diagram multi we have a multi-stage pump if you check the bearings are lubricated the pump is running never running dry and there is no aeration air bubbles the motor that drives the pump is either electric or a hydraulic there is a mechanical sealing device between the motor and the discharge pipe in the cargo tank then we have to write about igc code simple short note so it is for ships built after 30th june 1986 for cab construction and equipment and igc code safety of dives as for sodas for compel under amendments mandatory and certificate of fitness is there on board 
list of cargoes and all the properties and precaution and extra things required. Then differentiate between fully refrigerated, semi-refrigerated and semi-pressurized ship. So fully refrigerated uh, gas carrier have prismatic shape tanks, semi-refrigerated are cylindrical with thinner constructions. Then um, cargo capacity of fully refrigerated are very high range, like 15,000 to 85,000 as we saw for LNG with common 30 for 50 and 80. Here, the pressure vessels are less size because of thickness, so 5,000 meter cube and high pressure. Then, details of fully and types of gas carrier considering survival. As for survival capability, this is uh, mostly us, types of gas carrier. So you have fully refrigerated, semi-pressurized, and fully pressurized and LNG and hazards involved with type 1 the same similar hazards fire and point violation you can go general certificate of fitness of gas carrier is same it is given by flag state on behalf of class for validity of five years as per IGC code Then uh, proper sequence and procedure for preparation and loading of LNG. So after dry docking again, we do inerting and gassing up and cooling, drying and cooling, and then loading. So operation procedures, so ship sort of safety check is inerting, then gassing up in cool down for generation cargo tank material and loading. Bulk loading, then topping off and deblasting at the same time, making the storage plan and all, filling rates, behavior of LNG. LNG when loaded, the pressure will be, the pressure of the vapor phase is maintained substantially constant, slightly above the atmospheric pressure. So we are controlling the pressure with the temperature to maintain a constant pressure. Then reliquation plant, single stage, we have done. Types of gas carriers, designs of gas carriers, tanks, we have done integral tanks, independent tanks. And that's it.